As children head back into the classrooms this fall, it's important their vision is clear so they're prepared for the school year. IQ Vision Care optometrist Isha Patel tells us what parents should know about their child's eye health. Isha Patel's patients range in ages, but she prefers to see them when they're young. Six months we usually say to assess all the ocular health, just make sure developmentally they're okay. That appointment really only catches major things, so if there's something glaring going on, we catch it at that appointment, just make sure things look good. She says parents don't need to wait for their child's pediatrician to tell them to see an eye specialist. Between three and five years, right around when they're starting preschool, kindergarten, to make sure they're good to go. And then after that, every year. Even eight-year-old Kirsten Borba knows the importance of an annual eye exam. Well, you need to make sure you have good eyesight because you really need to see things in life. And um, I just think they shouldn't be nervous to come get their eyes checked. Isha understands that lots of children are exposed to screen time on a daily basis. She suggests taking frequent breaks. We call it the 20-20-20 rule, so every 20 minutes, take a break for 20 seconds, look 20 feet away. The big thing for kids, especially younger kids, is getting outside and playing in the sun. We don't really understand the mechanism, but for some reason, we see that when kids are playing outside and have at least 30 minutes of outside time a day, they're less likely to develop myopia or nearsightedness um, or develop it slower. Isha says if you notice your child developing new habits, see an eye specialist. Are they moving close to stuff, getting really close to the TV, squinting, um, holding things closer? But some of those things are also just behavioral things. A lot of times, especially younger kids, babies, will rub a lot. If they are blurry or things like that, they'll rub at their eyes a lot, especially if they're only rubbing at one eye. They have a tendency to only squint one eye when they're out. It's bright lights, severe, severe light sensitivity. She says early detection is key. The earlier we detect things, the earlier we get in there and do something about it, the best chance they have, because we have until around eight years before that kind of solidifies. So after they're eight, there's much less we can do for them. Whereas if we catch something when they're two or three, they have a lot more time and a lot more growing left. 